I have the Google Pixel 7 Pro here with the Kira Sakura custom kernel installed. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install a new monthly over the air update while keeping all of your data intact. When you install a custom kernel like Kira Sakura, you need to disable VB meta flags for Verity as well as verification. And anytime you take a device with these flags enabled to disabled or from disabled to enabled, then a factory reset is required. When installing new over the air updates on a device with these flags disabled, we need to take special precaution to make sure that those flags stay disabled. This can be done manually via sideloading the new update, but using the Android Flash tool through a supported browser like Chrome is usually the easiest way this can be done. To begin, we need to check the About Phone section of the Settings application and then go to the Android version area so that we can make note of the build number down here at the bottom. Now let's open up the Google Factory Images website and find our new monthly security update. You can find this website at developers.google.com slash android slash images, but I'll also include a link to this page in the video description below. Now we need to look through this page to find the updates for our specific phone. I have the Pixel 7 Pro here, so I have scrolled down to this section of the site. And if you remember, I have the May security update installed. So we're going to click on the flash link for the June security update for our device. When you see this prompt appear, click on the allow ADB access. So now let's connect our Pixel 7 Pro to the PC with a USB cable and make sure that we have USB debugging mode enabled on our device. With that done, you should be able to click on this drop down menu here and find your device that you're wanting to update. After selecting that device, we can then set up some advanced options here by clicking this link. The main things that we want to do here is check the Disable Verity box and the Disable Verification box. This will install this new update while keeping those VB meta flags for Verity and Verification disabled. This is required if you want to keep all of your data because we disabled them in order to install that custom kernel. Just make sure that the wipe device option is not checked and the lock bootloader option is not checked. When you're ready, we're going to click on the blue install build button right here. And this just allows us to confirm everything that we want to do. So we can make sure that we have the correct device selected. We have the June security update ready, and we are keeping Verity and verification disabled. So now click on confirm, and we're going to let the Android flash tool do all of the work for us. Make note here, that we do not want to unplug the device at all. There is no need to interact with the device unless instructed to do so by this page. 
there just is not any reason to touch the device or the USB cable during this update process because we want to make sure that it retains a secure connection to our PC. And while this update will preserve all of our user data, any modifications, specifically root modifications, will be removed. So the custom kernel that we had installed will be replaced by the stock kernel and Majisk will no longer be installed. So once the update has been completed, we will need to patch the init underscore boot dot img file again with Majisk and flash it via fastboot mode to regain root access. We will also need to install the Kira Sakura custom kernel again as well. And thankfully, you already know how to do this since you have done it in the past. But if you need any references, then be sure to check the video description below because I'll include links to those videos for the Google Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7 Pro down there. The process will be the same as you did it before. It just needs to be done again after the new update is installed since all modifications are going to be replaced with the stock firmware. You will notice that your device is going to be rebooted a few times during this update process. And again, we're not touching the phone or the USB cable during this update. We're just letting the Android flash tool do all the work for us. I'm going to skip through most of this update so the video isn't longer than it needs to be. Assuming everything went okay, you will get a green install complete message here and you will notice that your Google Pixel phone will reboot one last time. After it has rebooted, we can unplug that USB cable and wait for it to boot back into Android. The reboot process should be fairly quick and should take us right back into the operating system where we left it off. You can see all of our apps are still in place. And when we check the Android version area of the about phone section, You'll notice that the new monthly security update has been installed as reflected in the build number right here. And our custom kernel has been replaced with the stock kernel. So now we're going to download the full firmware that we just installed so that we can extract the INIT boot image file, patch it with Majisk, and then flash it via fast boot mode so that we can regain root access. With that done, we just need to make sure that the required PowerHint Majisk module is installed and activated like normal. And then we can manually flash the custom kernel build for our device. You will always want to check the XDA thread for your specific device to see if there is a new kernel release for this month's update. In my case, we installed version 1.0.4 of the Kira Sakura custom kernel when this device had the May security update installed. And I now see that there is an update to version 1.1.0 for the June firmware update. So we simply need to download the zip file for this version of the kernel 
and then flash it with the kernel flasher application just like we did before. And again, if you're unfamiliar with how to reroute your phone or how to install the custom kernel, then look down below to find links to previous videos that I have done that show you all of the steps involved. There just isn't any reason to disable Verity or verification again, since that part was already done and is still disabled when we checked those two boxes in the Android Flash tool. I hope this has helped anyone who was wondering how to install a new over-the-air update on their Google Pixel 6 or Pixel 7 series phones with a custom kernel like Kira Sakura installed. As you can see, the process is completed very easily as long as we do all of the steps correctly. And as always, let me know if you have any questions about this process or if you ran into any issues when trying it yourself via the comments section down below. I will do my best to help out when I can, but you may need to sign up for the direct support tier of the channel membership page for this YouTube channel if it's an issue that I need to take time and do some research to find a solution.